So I have uh, some brief prepared remarks uh, to give the background of the composition and then I'll turn it over to Caitlin. So Zaumbox is a collection of solos for speaking percussionist commissioned by Caitlin King and Alex Rolf for their Speak Strike project. Currently a work in progress, Zaumbox will be a collection of at least 12 individual pieces that may be performed singly or arranged into suites. This open-ended form, inspired by the flux kits of fluxus artists, along with the indeterminate aspects of many of the individual pieces and the potential theatricality of their realization, positions the performer or performers as engaged participants in crafting a concert presentation. Each movement is a setting of Russian futurist transrational poetry called Zaum. The term, coined by Alexei Kruchenik, described the radical linguistic experiments of futurist poets, artists, and playwrights between 1913 and 1923. Zaum included word combinations beyond syntactical sense, invented words, the destruction of words into phonemes, and the obliteration of written language into abstract visual forms. This extraordinary evolution of poetry into visual and sonic abstraction took place over just a few years and was a literary manifestation station of the revolutionary shift from rational representation to the indeterminacy of subjective perception expressed in cubism and subsequent artistic movements of the 20th century. Much of this work was made public in the form of hastily produced short-run manuscript booklets combining poetry, artwork, and manifestos, and those are a few examples in the slide. Zaum was born among a tight community of futurists in Moscow, including writers Alexei Kruchenik, Velomir Klevnikov, Elena Guro, Vasily Kamensky, Igor Terentev, Vladimir Mayakovsky, and David Berliuk, as well as visual artists Olga Rozanova, Varvara Stepanova, Alexander Rodchenko, and Kazimir Malevich, as well as a composer, Mikhail Matyushin. The first pure Zaum poem was Dear Bushil by Alexei Kruchenik, published in 1913. Zaum was driven by the futurist fascination with speed and dynamism and the belief that ordinary language could not keep up with the mind in a state of inspiration. Kruchenik imagined the nonsense words as having a meaning that was hot and fluid in contrast to the frozen fixed meanings that shackled the expressive capability of rational language. His poetry of sound forms explored the raw material of vocal sound while retaining the ability to disrupt perception through the tenuous associations of invented word forms with existing words. Even within this early example, the trajectory towards abstraction is apparent as nonsense words dissolve into individual sounds in a persistent triple rhythm. Dear bullshil, ubeshur, skum. V so bu er l is. Zaum also appeared as a visual art, as in this painting on found material by Varvara Stepanova and another painting by Olga Rozanova. It was expressed in bold typographical experiments, as in this example by Vasily Kamensky. These experiments prefigured the prominence of creative typography in constructivist art and design in the 1920s. It was Alexei Kruchenik who led the dissolution of poetry into visual abstraction, as in these examples from 1917. In the example on the right, individual letters take on the quality of rayonist or cubist forms, and no conventional linear approach to reading or sounding out the poem is determined. The pages of Fe Nagt, published in 1918, oscillate between Zaum fragments enmeshed in visual constructions and completely abstracted forms expressing futurist dynamism. Zaum Box is a collection of short compositions for solo speaking percussionists, each of which sets a single Zaum poem, including all of those shown in the slides today. The visual style of notation variously evokes the rapid, automatic style of Kruchenik's Zaum manuscripts, as well as the typography found in early constructivism. Some movements are conventionally notated, while in others, de indeterminate notational forms facilitate the creative realization of nonlinear Zaum poems, like the one in the lower left. Some movements explore humor, unconventional sound sources, and theatricality, such as Dirbushil for wire brushes waved vigorously in the air. 
Frat Fran It, a concerto in four movements in which the performer's voice is the soloist and their instrument playing body is the orchestra. And telephone number 2B12Z, in which the performer uses a recording app on their smartphone to create and perform a real time telephone conversation while moving among and playing the setups of other movements. So now I will turn it over to Caitlin King, and she will be assisted by Austin LaMarche, and they will perform three movements. Thank you. 